Hey G Squad, how you doing? So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I made this baked chicken breast and I stuffed it with some uh, vegetable cream cheese and spinach and then I placed it on a bed of rainbow peppers with onions and garlic. Okay, so if y'all want to see how I made this dish, meet me at the kitchen y'all. And thank you to my returning family members and my new family members. Woohoo, y'all, we doing our thing. Anyway, fam, I'll meet y'all at the stove. Okay, G-Squad, this is everything that I use right here to make the chicken. So, of course, I have the chicken right there, as you see. Um, I'm using the uh, baby spinach. I have my rainbow peppers in the back, and then I have that onion. I'm not going to use that entire onion because it's rather large. i probably use half of it. Then I have some fresh um, garlic and in the back in that little dish that's just a, um, a blend of different seasonings that I you know put together um, then I'm going to be using the Philadelphia cream cheese I have the um, the vegetable blend um, flavor I'm going to use that then I have my complete seasoning which I'm going to use that to season my bell peppers and then I have my oil yeah so if you want to take a screenshot of this um i may try to list everything below i may do it we'll see but in any case let's get right into the video so i will see y'all at the stove family all right g squad so um i went on ahead you know per usual and i prepped everything off camera so now in this pan right here um, this is what I'm going to be baking the chicken. So I just cut up my peppers. I just did little cute flower um, designs. And then I also have my onions in here. And then I put the uh, fresh garlic. I just put some chunks of that in there. So now I'm going to go ahead in with some olive oil. And complete seasoning. Oh, this is how it looks if you don't know what that looks like. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mix this up really well. Just get my um, vegetables coated well with the oil and the uh, complete seasoning. And so now what this is, I'm creating a, um, it's just, it's going to act as a bed for my chicken. Let's mix it up really good. Mm -hmm. How's everyone doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. And actually, I'm going to claim it. I know my family's doing well. <clears throat> okay, there, I claimed it. Okay, so there. Alright, so now I'm going to set this off to the side. And family, I have my oven preheated already to um, 375 degrees. Okay, so now I have my chicken breast here. And actually I'm going to um, <coughs> remove one of those because... Yeah, I'm not going, I'm going to cook this one separately, doing something different with it, okay? So now, with my chicken breast, I've already washed it and everything. And so now, <clears throat> I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to split my chicken breast. I'm going to create a, um, a slit, okay? <clears throat> There we go. So now I'm not going to completely um, cut the entire thing. So, okay, this is just going to open it like this to create a pocket. <clears throat> Do the same with this one. Okay, create a pocket. Let me just go rinse them off. Just rinse and dry. So now, what I'm going to do is, I have my blend of seasonings, and it's just a teaspoon of 
garlic powder, uh, cumin, turmeric. I put smoked paprika in there, black pepper, um, do, 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 onion powder, and I believe, oh, a little um, <clears throat> chili powder and a little cayenne pepper. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and just season my chicken. I'm not going to use all that. Okay, so I'm just and just go ahead in and just you know rub it in real good. All right, I know some of you are out there. You, you you know you don't like touching raw meat. You know I get that. Everybody has a fetish about something, but <clears throat> use gloves or something. But you want to make sure you massage that seasoning in your meat really well. You know, I tell you, every time I'm talking about something have to do with food, my mouth waters. I don't know if y'all picked that up on the camera. Man, it's crazy. And I don't have much of an appetite. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So, um. Okay, so I'm going to add a little more. Because I, I like my seasoning. When I like to see my seasoning, my meat kind of like like dark like this that's when I know it's seasoned well okay <clears throat> by sight and your seasons to the gods say stop okay so now I have that pretty much seasoned the way I like it so now I'm gonna go ahead and open these up okay wipe my hands off so now I'm going to take my Philadelphia cream cheese. Now let your cream cheese sit out room temperature, okay? For, I think I let this sit out maybe like an hour. So you're going to let it room temperature because it's easier to spread, you know, on your meat. So now I'm just going to take my spoon. And this is, again, this is the uh, garden, which one is this? Garden vegetable one, okay? They have so many different varieties of um you know uh flavors so you know pick the one that you like okay so now i'm just going to go ahead in and just spread this inside my chicken like so okay, i'm gonna use a different spoon scoop some more out because i have i'm gonna use some water so i don't want to double dip so with this spoon, I have to take some more. The same thing, just spread it. And you can put as little or as much as you like, okay? Always say season your food to your liking. If you're new to this channel, that's my motto. I'm just giving you the basics, but you make it your own. This is what I do. But then, like I said, you flip it and, you know, make it the way you want to make it, okay? Alrighty, so now, I have my cream cheese on. So now I'm going to go ahead and with my fresh spinach. And you just want to lay your spinach out. Okay, no particular order. Any way that you want, as much as you want. Okay, do the same with this one. Again. Just place your spinach. Okay, so, all right. Okay, so that's how it looks with the spinach in, so now, we're going to close up our chicken. Okay. So that's how they look. All right. So now, move these over. We're going to bring back our peppers. And so now I'm going to place the chicken on top of the, the bed of peppers. Okay, and here's the other one. All right. <clears throat> Give this 
move this out of the way for you. All right, so now this is our chicken, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and family, what y'all think I'm gonna do next? What, you, what do y'all think I'm gonna do? Of course, she's gonna melt some butter and put butter on top of the chicken. And I'll pop back in when I have it melted. Okay, G-Squad, I have my butter melted. I just did like a quarter, like maybe like a quarter stick. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and, and baste my chicken. All right, so there we are. So now they're ready for the oven. So I'm going to put aluminum foil over this and I'm going to allow it to cook for about 20, 20, about 25 minutes covered. Then I'm going to uh, take it out, remove the foil, and then, you know, let it brown. Okay, so I shall see you shortly. G Squad, I wanted to pop back in for a few minutes. Um, I'm go At the last minute, I decided I just want to add just a little bit of uh, chicken broth to this. Just a small amount. Okay, like that. Because ultimately the chicken is going to create its own juices. But however, um, I just didn't want to run a chance of it drying out on the bottom of the pan. So just add like a teaspoon, you know, of, um, or, or half, yeah, about a, a tablespoon of uh, chicken broth. Okay. I just wanted to uh, show you that. All right, family. So it's been like 15 minutes. So I removed the chicken from the oven. So we're going to take the... Aluminum foil off, so this is how they look so far. So now I'm going to pop back in, pop them back in for like 10 minutes, and then they'll be done. So I'll see you shortly. All right, G Squad. So there we have it our baked chicken, and I stuffed it with uh, cream cheese and spinach on a bed of peppers, onions, and garlic. Yes, it smells so good in this house right now. You can see the cream cheese, you know, oozing out the side. Yum, 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 yum. So, family, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share, like, comment below. Make sure you subscribe to our family and join us if you haven't done so for 2021, y'all. We're halfway there. Actually, a little more than halfway there, you know, to our thousand goal. Okay, so let's... uh. You know, let's keep it pushing, okay? So I'm going to do what I'm going to do on my end. And I need y'all to show me love on the other end, okay? So y'all be safe. Love y'all. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Bye.